So, 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 so next up, um, I want to call up uh, Zoltan Savo and, and Bella uh, Lager. They're a couple of students from the University of Pannonia in, in Hungary. And this right here is a, is a, is a Rico printer. Um, we've, you know, worked with Rico for, for many years and all of their high-end printers, they're programmable. They have Java virtual machines in them. You can write, write code for them. And, you, and people all over the years have done some, some really surprising applications. Um, and one of the things that they do every year is they have a, have a student contest. Um, so, so, so Zoltan and, 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 and Balas, you are the, the winners of this year's uh, RICO student contest. So, um, what did you do to, to win the award, and, and uh, what have you got here? So, basically, this challenge is about to develop an application for the RICO MFP devices. And everything else was up to us. We had to create the specification of our application, the marketing and selling points, so it was a complex challenge. And um, finally, we created an OMR application, an optical mark reader application, which can be used to evaluate multiple choice answer sheets, multiple choice tests. So, but we um, would, would like to create an application which uh, can use not only the preprinted inflexible forms. We would like to make it very easy to use and very flexible. So you can use any of the office suites to create the answer sheet, uh, or you can just grab a pen and draw it. So it's so easy, and uh, we, the RICO guys um, from the RICO US created a test for us. Um, about the conference, and there's one question waiting for you. So, please, if you if you know uh, the guy who created the Java, please mark the right. I answer. can't do the test unless I know the question. Yeah. So you want me to do question number two? Java was developed by a Jerry Gosling, James Bond, J James Gosling, or Jay Leno. Um, now I'm always question. trying trying to duck duck out of things. So I will go for B, James Bond. James Bond. We will see. <laughs> so I have to start the coprocessor because uh, we have a short time to demonstrate our application at, and it's make faster. Yeah, so so one of the things that you guys were describing to me about this thing was that the the app runs in the in the printer. Yes, it basically runs on the printer, and um, and um, if you use only standalone this printer, you can you can evaluate about three pages per a minute, so about 180 mini, uh, 80 pages for, uh, in an hour. But uh, if you use the coprocessor, um, you can you can you can evaluate more than 2,600 2, pages per, per an hour. So it's a, it's a great uh, speed up for me, for us, and we would like to use it because uh, we have a short time. <laughs> right, so, 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 so the printer will do the work itself. Yes, it, it could. But, it, but if, if it's got a network connected, yes. it will actually farm it out to the cloud, literally. Yes, we have we have the coprocessor uh, multi-threaded application. So if you have more than one processor, you can use it, and it even more faster. Right, right. So 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 it's basically taking, you know, the printer can do its own thing. Yes. But it can actually use the the cloud in a very surprising way. Yes. So you've got your own like little mini copy of the cloud. Yes, yeah, a real mini cloud because it's my own laptop. But uh, but if you have a, a large amount of computing capacity, right? I mean, it, it's it's an Ethernet cable to whatever. Yes. Yes. So let's see. It. Let's see. It do a thing. Okay. So if we'll take a look at the user interface, maybe it can be shown on the screens. Uh, we can see that it is a wizard. We created it to be so clear out because we wanted the application to be used by. Uh, teachers in schools and they may have less IT experience and they may need help uh, to be conducted through the uh, workflow. So at the very first step, uh, we need to set the IP address of the computer connected to the device. And uh, as we are from Europe, we will set uh, class C IP address. That is correct, okay. And uh, at the next step, we need to tell all the necessary information to uh, the application that it needs to work with the answer sheets. So we will scan and process a master answer sheet uh, 
and this paper carries information by colors. As you can see, here is a name field bit on the top that is colored by green, and the wrong answer fields are colored by red, and the right answer fields by blue. So the application saves the scanned uh, image in JPEG format at, at first, and uh, then using an open source JPEG decoder library, we can get all the locations of the answer fields. We need just to wait for a few seconds. Now the laptop is working on the image. And here we got the results. The application provides a feedback on the uh, answer fields because if there is any failure, then the rest of the evaluation of the test papers will be false. And uh, here we can see a little table that we created uh, from the answer fields. And that was really hard stuff because the number of the displayable elements on this device uh, fairly limited. So we looked for an open source bitmap generator and managed to create this single BMP image uh, from the results or the recognition. So everything looks fine and I can check the answer sheet. That is just being finished. Okay. And the processing of the answer sheet is much more faster because the application now knows the loco location of the fields and needs only uh, to check if it is uh, ticked or not. So at this point, uh, the test is not evaluated yet because uh, tests can be evaluated by using several evaluation strategies. And I choose the European one that is a bit differ different from the Euro uh, American one. And uh, after the evaluation is done, it was this fast. I print the results. And let's see. So. But you can implement very easily other evaluation strategies because it's an interface, so you right. can add another one. Right, and so, 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 I mean, the... You know the you know the, the the all the apps on these on these on these printers are ones where, yeah, you could do them with an offboard PC. You could you know scan the images in or or, or, or do whatever, and then walk over. It's really con cumbersome. In the workflow of you know in, you know the, you know this would be like 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 a school where you're grading papers, or you know I've seen ones for like physical therapists' offices where you're taking notes and doing things. You know, they, it, you know, it's really disruptive to, to the workflow to have, you know, every step you add, you know, so by, by doing things like, like just making the printer, the scanner, able to, ha to understand how to, how to score papers, right? You're used to being able to take a piece of paper, put it, put it in the, put it, put it in one of these sheet feed scanners and, and, and click scan. But, you know, with this, you can click score and it makes the whole process really, really easy. So, uh, you know, congratulations on winning the contest, and thank you. Very um, much. Good luck with your good, good luck with your uh, continuing thank studies. You very much. Thank so, you. Congratulations. All right.